You know, there's a dilemma when it comes to dating these days. Many of us are trying to decipher and discern between who's for us and who's just trying to get something from us. Today on In The Mix, let's talk about what makes someone pop the question or pop a balloon. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about what makes you say, I do. Oh, I'm mic'd up. Join me and let's mix it up. Good people, how you doing? How you living? How's it going? What's happening? I hope you are doing well. Well, I want to welcome you to another edition of In the Mix. I'm your host with the most, yours truly, Dr. Eddie Connor, and it is an honor that you have joined us today. Listen, I want you to hit the thumbs up button on this video. Come on, hit the thumbs up button on this video. And while you're doing that, you might as well hit the subscribe button as well. Come on, I'm growing your greatness. Help me to grow our channel. Yes, our channel for change, our channel that creates change, our channel that breaks chains. And you know how we do it, family. We got to pay that light bill. I wish it was just as simple as dropping an emoji in the chat, but I do want you to do that as a matter of fact. Drop a light bulb emoji in the chat. Come on, drop some light bulb emojis in the chat. Let's light it up in here. Come on, let's brighten it up in here. Come on. Yeah, I know you brighten it up with your smile, but brighten it up with some light bulbs too. Yeah, it's going to be a 100 watt conversation. We're going to keep it all the way 100 because we're too lit to quit. We're going to illuminate it, have a conversation of illumination. Why? Because we are the light of the world. Family, let's spotlight. Let's highlight today's topic and title which is pop the question or a balloon <laughs> yeah we gonna make it make sense pop the question or a balloon what makes you say i do yeah dun 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 dun, dun. you know you know all the jingles you know it you know it you know it some of us, you already got your tux picked out. Some of us, you already got your, 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 your wedding gown picked out. I get it. I understand it. I hear you. I see you. But let's talk about what makes you say I do too. You know, one of the most important decisions that you will ever make are the relationships that you choose to align yourself with. One of the most important decisions that you will ever make outside of salvation, yes, is the maturation of who you decide to marry, who you choose to align yourself with, right? And whether it those relationships be friendships, whether it be dating, whether it be marriage, it will either reap fruitful or frightful results. And what we have to do, we have to be sure that we're sure that we're sure that we're sure about the type of people and the type of person that we want to ingratiate into our life. Come on, family, just type I do. Type I do. Type I do. Before you ever say I do to somebody else, you got to first say I do to yourself. You got to say I do to, to the purpose of what it is that God gave you, as I always say. You can't expect a purpose partner if you have not first partnered with your purpose. And on your journey, in your maturational development, as you matriculate throughout life, you have to make sure that you have people who are in your life who are adding to you, not subtracting from you. Right? And 
one of the greatest math equations that you can possibly ever do is not statistics, is not the Pythagorean theorem. It is not the equations when it comes to algebraic equations, trigonometry. It is understanding the dichotomy of what it is and that is if people are not adding to your life, you have to do some simple math and subtract them from your life. Simply because there are people who only come into your life to take from you. And there's a dilemma these days. There's a dilemma. We've got people who, when it comes to dating, they don't want nothing to do with dating. And then we got people who are married who are looking for love. It is sordid and twisted. To a certain degree, some of us feel as if relationships are a horror movie. Because there is a there's a dilemma when it comes to dating these days. We're trying to decipher. We're trying to discern between who's for us and who's just trying to get something from us. Some people's only purpose in life is what I understand is just to distract you from yours some people's only purpose in life is to distract you from pursuing your purpose they want to take your power they want to drain you of your peace with drama they want to complain they want to gossip they want to fight they want to bring up fractures and fissures within how you feel about you simply because they don't like where they are and they don't like who they are in life when we think about the topic entitled today, Pop the Question or Pop the Balloon, some of us are really old enough to remember shows such as The Dating Game. Some of us remember Love Connection. Some of us can even go all the way back to BET and remember Hell Date. Y'all remember, <laughs> remember that? Woo-wee! Yeah, I was, I was on a little dating show too. Yeah, I was on one some years ago on the Steve Harvey TV show. Some of y'all remember that. And it's 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 on my YouTube page. Yeah, it's, it's, you can you can scroll all the way back and, and check that out. It was called an episode was called United Dates of America. And so I was a eligible bachelor, if I do say so myself, coming on to the show meeting. Steve Harvey, great king of comedy for sure. He was he was he was warming up the audience before the show started. I mean, just joke after joke after joke after joke. Had everybody falling out, loosened up the audience to be able to, you know, enjoy the show. All those things, and it was amazing. However, I had a hook me up with a particular young lady who was quote unquote a. Ah, tough dater, if I do say so myself. And I guess the video vignette that I was watching behind the scenes showed that she was asking people how much cash they had, what was their credit score, and some other stuff on their first date. And so her 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 sister or sister in law was trying to help her out a little bit. I, I I'm not gonna go all the way into it. You go back, you check it out, right? Yeah, I was a part of that too. And and here's the thing. Some of us, yeah, we remember Hell Date. Some of y'all remember me being on Steve Harvey's show. Some of y'all remember Love Connection. Some of y'all remember the dating game. And then some of us are young enough and even old enough to remember shows like The Bachelor. The Bachelorette. Love is Blind. However, if you have not been living under a rock, if you've been on social media time or two or 10. You understand that there's a new phenomenon that has arisen. It's a speed dating phenomenon sweeping all across the social media land. Scape. Yeah. Sweeping all across the social media landscape entitled pop the balloon or find love. And this particular phenomenon is a concept that is that was hatched that was created by married couple Arlette Amugli and 
Balia Matundu. And their rationale was all about how to redefine how love is found, right? Because a lot of people really don't want to go into all of the aspects of the years of dating, the months of dating to get to know somebody. They want to make a snap decision right now. We live in a zero to 100, 100 real quick society. People got stuff to do, people to see, money to make, this, that, and the other. Let's get to it. Do I like you or do I not like you? And the idea for this particular show is that contestants pop a balloon to signal their disinterest in the other contestant. Concept, again, is based on speed dating. And, of course, if one person does not like one thing that the other person has said, how the person looks, so on and so forth. The contestant can pop their balloon and let the other person know that I'm not interested. <laughs> I'm a living witness. Relationships are much like your credit union or your banking service. Maybe sometimes relationships are like this, pop the question or find love type of schematic aspect. Some of us, you know, you watch it. You watch the show. Come on now. You know you do. You you, you like watching, yeah, that red balloon with all them red flags. You, you like it. Mm-hmm. It's your guilty pleasure. You binge watch it. I get it. No, no judgment. I don't have a law degree, so I don't judge. <laughs> but here's the thing. Much like a credit union, much like a banking service, if you keep letting people make more withdrawals than deposits in your life, you're going to end up bankrupt. And here's what you have to do. You have to get to a particular place in your life that says, if you can't add or multiply in your life, if you can't add or multiply in my life, then don't waste my time subtracting my mind, subtracting my drive, subtracting my purpose, sub subtracting and dividing my resources. Right. Your current relationships are like currency. Are they enriching you or depleting you? Come on, family. Type real love. Type real love. Yeah. Pop the question or a balloon. Is, that's that's what it is today. What makes you say I do? Suitability, not anxiety, ought to make you say I do. Purpose. And partnership, not pressure, ought to make you say I do. Really should. Suitability, not anxiety, ought to make you say I do too. But you got to first say I do to you and the purpose that God gave you before you ever say I do to anybody else. Family, I sure do hope you say I do to becoming a member of In The Mix. Come on, don't tell me. So so you're just going to watch In The Mix but not become a member of In The Mix? Come on. Go ahead. Get a badge even now. We got three tiers that you can just get a badge from. VIP. You're a very important person with a very important purpose. Royalty, OQP, only quality people. Come on, go ahead and get a badge even now. Link's in the chat. Link's in the description of this video. Link is in our live chat as well. So go ahead. Get one. And my giving my gift to you is to now give you access to our private membership area on this YouTube channel. Where you get access to all of the content that I don't show anywhere else. I'm specifically having conversation. I'm, I'm specifically showing you some behind the scenes of really how life is for me, how travel is for me, how I set up speaking uh, development, speaking engagements and how I'm processing my thoughts, things of that nature, what my diet consists of. A lot of things that I don't really share about, but I do want to share that with you. Go ahead, secure a badge even now. If you're not a member of our YouTube channel, yeah, go ahead, become a member of In The Mix. But also, I do want you to join us on another level of partnership, which is the ultimate level, by becoming a member of our Eagles community. Powering you to, sh to soar into greater success and greater purpose. The live teachings, the coaching, the training, the access to our private Facebook group, the connectivity that you get with being a part of an amazing community of gifted Eagles. And here's the beauty of it, the transformation that you're going to experience. When you come into any one of our sessions and you leave out, you feel invigorated. You, you're going to turn up your level of dedication. 
You're going to feel the inspiration. You're going to sense that, wow, I really have clarity in this particular area of my life. I can build my business. I can strategize. I can mobilize. I can or organize. My skill set is getting better. I I'm thinking freely. I'm thinking more concretely. I'm thinking innovatively. You owe it to you to experience all of that, even right now, by going to TheEaglesAcademy.com. 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 Be a part of a community that is stress-free. You're not going to have to move time. You're not going to have to pull time away from your family and your friends. You're not going to spend thousands of dollars and thousands of hours to have to go to another level. Let's do that. TheEaglesAcademy.com. I guarantee you're not going to pop the balloon on that. You're going to sure understand that we're going to take you to soar to another level as a matter of fact. TheEaglesAcademy.com. When you get there, tap the Join Now button. Fill out the form. I guarantee you're going to be transformed. Come on, family. Drop, drop some balloons in the chat. <laughs> drop some balloons in the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about pop the question or a balloon. What makes you say I do? Yeah. Do, do I have relationships that are enriching me? Or do I have relationships that are really causing me to feel antiquated and feel negative and feel less than do I have people in my life who are lifting me up or pulling me down? Why? Because you can't call a circle people who don't support you a circle. That's not a circle. That's a cage. You got people in your life who don't support you, who don't encourage you, who don't believe in you, who don't value you, who don't lift you up, who don't treat you in a way that is kind, who don't speak life into your life. You don't have a circle. You have a cage. Here's what you got to do. You got to flip the page. And, and here's the thing. Maybe you don't even need to flip out the page. You need to rip out that page. Yeah, because I know some of you, you're going to reread it. Mm-hmm. You're going to reread that same page that you ought to rip out. Move your life to another level. Move your life to a greater dimension. Move your life to a greater place of a purpose, promise, possibility, and potential. Family, Breaking news. In the midst of this special message, I have a special message for you. I don't want you to touch that dial. Smile. Stick and stay. More is on the way after these messages. I'll be right back. Our schools are underfunded. Teachers are underpaid. And our children are undereducated. Our classrooms, culture, curriculum, and communities are in crisis like never before. Education is the key, but the lock is broken. So how do we fix it? I'm so glad that you asked. I'm giving you strategies in my new book. It's my 17th book, by the way, called Strategies for Successful Schools. How to Develop a Diverse Classroom of Learners Who Read, Lead, and Succeed. There's a book that's available right now for our educational leaders. It's a must read for school board members, parents, community advocates, transformative teachers. And yes, for those of you who desire to see our children lead and succeed. But not only that. So many of our young people are struggling with their academics, their mental well-being, limiting beliefs, procrastination, interpersonal trauma, and just feeling like they're hopeless. But what if there was a go-to guide to empower you to be a champion and our children to be a champion and empower them to overcome challenges? Here's the good news. I've got another book for you. It's my 18th one. Learners are leaders. Strategies and solutions for student success. It's got a 31-day journal in there. It's got affirmations, really a lot of valuable life lessons. Ways to set smart goals for success, improve your mental well-being, foster academic success. So much more that is in store when you get not just one, but both of these books. They're both available right now on Amazon. Yeah, go get it right now. But also, you can get signed copies that are available at TheEaglesAcademy.com forward slash books. Don't just get them for you, but also get them for someone else too. Yes, yes, y'all. And we don't stop. Come on, family. I need you to heed to these resources that you've heard. Let's get back to the word. Yeah, you need to make sure that you go ahead and get my two latest books, my 17th and my 18th books, Learners and Leaders, Strategies for Successful Students, and then, of course, Strategies for Successful Schools, which is my other book, How to Empower a Classroom of Learners to Read, Lead, and Succeed. Every educator, every parent, everyone who loves our children needs to go ahead and get these books and then give them as gifts to somebody in your life. Family, we're talking about pop the question or a balloon. Let me, let me take a sip so I don't slip. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Pop the question or balloon. Talk about what makes you say I do. What makes you say I do? Because here's the thing. It's either pop the question or pop the balloon. It's a fine line between marry me or stay away from me. Now, did you hear me in a place of singleness and solitude is an opportunity to continue to grow, to continue to work on yourself, to continue for here it is for you to become the right one for the right one. And becoming the right one for the right one first begins by you becoming right for you. Not not just becoming the right one so that you can become right for somebody else. Right. No, you got to become right for you first before you ever expect to connect with the right one. And here's the thing. Many times we see delay. We see waiting as a delay. We see waiting as a denial when it's neither. Here's what God does. God orchestrates the right person and the right opportunity because sometimes it's not your time to date. Yeah. Talk about the dating dilemma. Sometimes it's not your time to date. Sometimes it's your time to wait. Sometimes it's not the season for you to date. Sometimes it's a season for you to get the date on your purpose. Sometimes this is the season for you to become an even more principled person. Yeah. Sometimes it's, it's, it's not the time for you to intermingle with somebody else. And well, I don't want to feel alone. Well, here's the thing. You can be alone and not lonely. I don't want to feel lonely. There's that the other. You can be alone and not lonely. You're never lonely. Number one, you got God with you. Secondly, you should you ought to be too busy to be alone, to feel lonely. You work in your purpose. You're serving other people. You're developing who it is that you are. You're working on your mental health. You're, you're engaging in self-care. You're prioritizing you and the purpose that God gave you. And here it is. May not be your time to date. It just might be your time to wait. But while you're waiting, it doesn't mean that you're idle. It doesn't mean like you're just sitting down waiting on a, a person at a bus stop, waiting like a person at a bus stop, waiting on a Lyft, waiting on an Uber. But no, you're like a waiter or a waitress at a, at a restaurant. You're working, you're serving, you're preparing for what you anticipate on receiving. So by the time it's ready, you're already in the place to be ready for what's ready for you. Yeah, <sighs> Hear me. Sometimes we're saying, oh, well, this person got this person. This person got that person. You don't even know what that person had to do to get that particular person. What you got to do is, yeah, I'm grateful for you. I'm, I'm celebrating you. What you got is for you. But I know what God has for me is for me. And I know this, that if God is blessing my neighbor, that means he's in my neighborhood. It's just a matter of time before he delivers what's mine. But I need to be ready for what's ready for me. Come on, family. Type get ready. Type get ready. Ooh, get ready, 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 get ready. Because here's the thing. When it's time to be ready, you're not going to have time to get ready. You're going to have to you're going to have to already be ready. And you don't have to get ready when you're already ready to collide with your destiny at the right timing. There are some goals. There are some dreams that God wants you to fulfill while you're in your season of singleness. Hear me. It's just a season. You got to find the reason. Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. Come on, family. Type success. Type success. Type success. Success in singleness. Success in my purpose. It's just a season and I need to find the reason. Why are you waiting to be married to do what God wants you to do? When you can be doing what God wants you to do while you're singing. Well, I'm going to wait till I'm married to write the book. Well, I'm going to wait till I'm married to, to open the business. Maybe God wants the person who he wants you to marry to read the book that you've already written. Maybe, just maybe, that God wants you to build the, the business in your singleness so that he, you, you meet and connect with the right one even in your singleness so that once you're married, you too, it's not such an uphill climb. But you're already soaring and now you can go to a higher height, deeper depth, simply because you did the hard work in your singleness. And now your marriage is a greater success. Because whoever you are in your singleness will either meet, lead to a marital bless or a marital mess. Are you procrastinating? Are you delaying your blessing simply because you're procrastinating in your purpose? Waiting is not a cursing. Singleness is not a curse. 
The S on your chest doesn't mean that you're scarred, you're scared, you're scared, you're suffering in silence and you're sad. No, it ought to mean that you're single with a selective standard. You're selective. You got standards. Yeah, you may be single, but here's the thing. You're also successful. Mm -hmm. You're strong. You understand that waiting does not mean to be idle. Waiting means I'm working. Waiting doesn't mean I'm I'm a pedestrian. Waiting understands. Waiting means that I'm a purpose partner. And before I can ever per, I, before I can ever partner with you as a purpose partner, I have to first partner with the purpose that God gave me. Are you hearing me? Come on, family. Type partnership. Type partnership. You're not waiting on God. He's waiting on you. Brother, continue to work your vision. Continue to prove your, improve your life for your wife. Continue to develop who it is that you are. Continue to do what it is that God called you to do. Continue to develop. Continue to empower. Continue to, to strengthen yourself. My dear sister from another mister, continue to become the wife that God has called you to be. So that here it is. You can improve your husband's life by being a wife. Listen, you're not a knife, you're a wife. You're not a husband, you're a hammer. You're not a hammer, you're a husband. Yeah. You, you, you're not a knife, you're a wife. You're not a hammer, you're a husband. You, you're not a, a cutter, you're a consoler. You're not a headache, you're a helpmate. You got to appreciate the value of who it is that you are and what it is that God gave you. And here's the thing. Relationships are not like fast food. Marriage is not like fast food. A lot of us, we just want a quick fix. We want to go from zero to 100 real quick. We want to jump the broom and you want to jump over your purpose. But no. Real marital meal it's like going to Ruth's Chris, not going to Arby's and Wendy's and Burger King and McDonald's, and not even Chick-fil-A. The other service isn't that bad. Service is really good, by the way. But here's the thing. It's not like a fast food aspect. Yeah. A lot of people are just going through the drive through Going through the window real quickly. Pulling up. And speeding off. But no, 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 no. You got to understand that here it is. Sometimes you just got to wait. Everybody else is getting a meal first before you. You got there before them and they're eating before you. And you calling the chef over, you calling the waiter, or the waitress over, you calling the maitre d' over. And they're letting you know the reason why yours is taking so long is because you got a special order. Come on, family, type special, type special. I got something extra special that's coming. No, you didn't get a sous chef to make yours. You got the top chef to make it. You got a five-star Michelin chef cooking up something. Ooh, that's going to be delicious. That's going to be splendiferous. That's going to be magnanimous. That's going to cause you to be intoxicated with the exuberance of your intellectual verbosity. Cause you to be loquacious. Cause you to bloviate. Cause you to thank God. That, oh, I'm so glad I waited. Mm -hmm. Oh, taste and see. That the Lord is good. This is so enough good. This relationship is good. This marriage is good. This person is good. This opportunity is good. Your patience prepares you for your promise. Come on. You got to have faith and not just focus on quick fixes. Listen, I need you to hear me. Everything you've hoped for, everything you've believed for, everything that you prayed for is worth waiting for. Yeah, you got to expect to receive more. Come on, family, type more, type more. Don't rush it or you'll ruin it. Being married won't heal you. Being single won't kill you. Waiting on God is not a waste of time. Come on, family. We're having a super conversation. Drop a super chat. Drop a super sticker. Be patient as you expect it. God's going to do it. 
and you're going to live to see it happen. And I guarantee you, it's going to be big. Come on, family, type big, bigger, better, brighter. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's going to be the financial breakthrough, the business, the promotion, the marriage, the blessing, the opportunity, the open door, the favor. It's going to be bigger. It's going to be better. It's going to be brighter. You got to keep the vision within you. You got to keep the vision in front of you more than just anything, more than just something. You got to expect God to give you everything. All things are possible. Ain't no need to rush. Why is that? Because what's meant for you is for you. And what's meant for you will always arrive on time. Just because it's not in your time doesn't mean it's not on time. Oh, I wish I had somebody helping me. Just because it's not in your time, frame, time, line, does not mean it's not on time. There's a blessing in pausing. There's a blessing in preparing. There's a blessing in praying. There's a blessing in being patient. Simply because whenever it's God's will, it will happen right on time. And here's the thing, too often, and much to the malaise of what it is that we go through, here's what we're doing. We are often moving into a predicament of rushing relationships. We haven't even forged a solid friendship. Yeah, the foundation of a good marriage, much less a relationship, is a solid friendship. And friendship goes through the seasons with people. Spring, summer, winter, fall. You see, what, what, what attitude is springing up? Do they feel like a hot boy or a hot girl in the summer? Or are they a heel man or a heel woman in the summer? Do they feel like a winner or, or a loser in the winter? Do they, do they fall back in the fall? Right? I, I got, I, I've got to get to learn somebody. And just because you're attractive doesn't mean that we're compatible. Simply because people change as the seasons change. Scripture says Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's not changing. He is who he is. He doesn't change to be with you. You have to change to be with him. And even as you change, there's also change that transpires and takes place in, in the relationships. Beauty is only skin deep. People are going to change. Do you have the grace to grow with somebody? Simply because the right one doesn't want you to be stagnant, stifled, stymied. They want you to evolve. They want you to grow. They don't want you. They're not a shallow type of person who wants to keep you into a place of a shallow level of living life. Deep calls unto deep. They have depth within them. And depth responds to depth. And for many of us, we are so tethered to toxicity and toxic relationships. And here's the thing. Toxic relationships are a biohazard to your breakthrough. Toxic relationships are a biohazard to your blessings. Toxic relationships are a biohazard to your purpose. You got to overcome those toxic connections and uh, negative relationships, red flag relationships that are unhealthy. That are eating away at your joy and eating away at your peace and eating away at your peace of mind. In turn, it destroys you and your life and ultimately those around you. Because what goes in you, what goes on in you, connects and flows to everybody else that is around you. Toxic relationships will not only cause you heartbreak and heartache, they'll cause you heartburn and heart attack. Here's what they say. They say it's not what you walk away from is what you walk away with. But here's the thing. Many of us have walked away from toxic relationships, but we've walked away with a broken heart. We've walked away with emotional baggage. Yes, yeah, it's been our parting gift. It's been a part, not even a gift. It's been a parting curse. Scars of abuse. Curse. Mistrust. Curse. Depression. Curse. Action. Addiction, rather. Curse. Low self-esteem. 
curse, TNT, trauma and triggers that become so explosive in your life. Curse. These were not parting gifts. These were parting curses that ultimately destroy your life and the generations to come. Come on, family. Type free. Type free. He who the son has set free is free indeed. I got to be free from to be free for. I got to forgive who hurt me. And then I got to forgive myself for allowing it to happen. Why is that? Because you'll never be better if you continue to remain bitter. You got to loose it and let it go. You got to grow through it. Why? That X was an example. That X ought to put you into a greater place of excellence. That X ought to cause you to exceed your own boundaries. Exceed your own barriers. Hmm? Hmm? That ex ought to move you into a place to say, I'm exiting out of what God does not have for me. Stop reducing yourself to fit in with people who don't like you anyway. I love to fly. I like to go all around the country. But here's what I don't always enjoy. The packing of the bags. But here's what I realize. Whenever I'm boarding an airplane, understand this. I got to check my luggage in. I always have to pay more based upon the bag being too heavy relationships are like boarding an airplane too much baggage is going to cost you we all have baggage none of us are perfect none of us are exempt from baggage but here's the thing is your baggage so heavy that it's going to weigh you down it's going to weigh somebody else down and it's not going to propel you forward it's a whole bunch of folks with a lot of baggage it's good looking baggage hmm yeah, good looking people with ugly baggage. Come on, you know it. She looks pretty, but her attitude is ugly. He looks handsome, but he's a headache. Come on. You heard you heard it, sis. You know it, bruh. Sometimes your baggage is as ugly as theirs is too. And so here's what it has cost us. It has cost us astronomically. It has cost us immensely. It has cost us our mental health. And our sagacity and our self-esteem and our self-concept to deal with the baggage of other people, much less our own. Based upon what you're carrying, it's going to cause you to either crash or it's going to cause you to soar. And many of us have to get to this particular place when we're talking about pop the question or pop the balloon. What makes you say I do? For you to say I do, you got to say I don't to some stuff. I don't deal with people who don't respect my boundaries. I don't allow other people to dictate to me on how I'm going to live my life. I don't allow people to tamper with my mental health with a lot of junk and with, a lot of, with gossip and negativity and gaslighting and NPD and narcissistic personality disorder. People want to sow vision snipers and emotional snipers and emotional squatters and limited beliefs and negativity into my life. I don't deal with it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't deal with it. I got to get to the particular place in my life. To where I recognize that I got something great that's going on in my life. And that I am the type of person that I desire to attract. Got to get to the particular place to where you say, listen, I know who I am. God wrote it in his plan for me. My name is Victory. Come on, family. Just type Victory. Come on. Type Victory. Type Victory. Put the peace emoji in the in the in the chat. Type Victory and put the peace emoji in the in the chat. As a matter of fact, I'm putting the peace emoji in the, in the chat because God gave me peace for broken pieces. I'm putting the peace emoji in the chat. Putting these two fingers in the chat simply because God's going to give me double for my trouble. Yeah, this this symbolizes that I have victory over adversity and I'm walking into a place of opportunity. You mean to tell me for somebody to date you? They have to deal with your nasty, negative attitude. Come on, we talking about pop the question or, or a balloon. For somebody to date you, 
they have to empty out their bank account? Come on now. You got to say I don't to some stuff. For somebody to date you, they have to deal with your emotional games and your narcissistic personality disorder and your gaslighting and your crying and lying all at the same time. For somebody to date you, they got to deal with your lack of accountability. They have to deal with what you call baggage. They got to deal with your garbage. For somebody to date you, they got to deal with your blame shifting. Hmm. For somebody to date you, they have to deal with your ugly attitude and your ugly mentality and how you're always projecting and taking out your feelings on other people for somebody to date you we got to deal with your childish games and the fact that you have not healed from the toxicity and the trauma of what it is that you've experienced in your life and now you want to explode on other people how is that fair to somebody else hmm for somebody to date you they have to deal with all of the things of why it is that you're not trustworthy of other people simply because you allowed a parent to damage your trust, a significant other to damage your trust, a quote unquote loved one to, to damage your trust. You haven't loosed it. You haven't let it go. And here's what I know. Here's how I feel about it. Having to deal with nasty negative attitudes and emotional games and lack of accountability and blame shifting. Here's how I feel about it. I'm going to pop the balloon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what makes me say I don't. Showed up. Showing up. Don't make me say I do. Yeah. If I'm going to pop the question at all, the question is this that I'm going to answer. Why should I have to deal with that? That's the question that needs to be answered. That's the question that needs to be popped. Because certain things need to be stopped. A lot of people are full of hot air. And words fall on deaf ears when actions are seen with wide eyes. They know how to blow up your head and leave you on red. Here's what I got to do. I got to pop the balloon. Because I see a lot of red flags. Come on, why are you entertaining all them red flags? You got to get to the particular place. Listen, no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not dealing with that no more. Mm-hmm. Entertain all them red flags. And for some of us, we entertain flag, red flags because red is our favorite color. You don't deal with no green flags. Green flags you're suspicious of. Red flags you embrace. But here's what you got to do. You got to get to the place to where you're saying, listen. I'm getting rid of red flags and I'm popping the balloon that won't allow me to bloom. It's time for me to soar on wings as an eagle. It's time for me to go where I've never gone before, do what I've never done before, and ascend so high that here it is. I know that only the person who is on my frequency and on my level can match my fly. Matching your fly is not so much about what you're wearing. It's about who you're becoming. Matching your fly is not so much about how you're dressing. It's how you're thinking. Matching your fly is not so much about your money. It's about your mentality. Matching your fly isn't so much about your, your, your glasses that you're wearing. It's about the vision that you have. Matching your fly is not about the type of watch that you got on your wrist. It's about you knowing what time it is. This is the time to invest in yourself and say, listen, ain't nobody going to stop my pop. Yeah, because we getting we we listen, it's on and popping right here on in the mix. Mm hmm. Nobody's going to steal my joy or steal my peace. Because I understand, just like popcorn, that all kernels don't pop at the same time. 
Sometimes it seems as if you're the last kernel that's getting ready to be popped and everything else. And everyone else and every other kernel has popped. But here's what I understand. For it to happen, it takes light, it takes heat, and it takes some oil. Sometimes it's you being the last person, but the last shall be first and the first shall be last. And it's not about being the last person to get married. It's about being the one who's going to stay married the longest, who's going to stay happy the longest. When you have the oil of God on your life, it's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when. And the right one that God has for you, it's going to be a blessing to you. It's going to lift you. It's going to love you going to cause you to level up as you lead together an army and a generation for how God has developed you. Family, this is a great place to sow. It's been a spirited conversation. I would that you drop a super chat, a super sticker. Mm hmm. Yeah, no red flags formed against you shall pros prosper. You're going to prosper. No red flags formed against you shall prosper. You're not going to be an imposter. You're going to prosper. I would that you sow into this super conversation with a super chat, with a super sticker. You can also do that by sowing electronically. Dollar sign, excess identity. PayPal, Zelle, Eddie Connor, JR, Gmail. Link is in the chat. Link is in the description of this video for how to give, where to give. And you can sow where we grow. This is where you this is where you grow, so so. This is where you soar. So, so where you grow, so where you soar. I believe God has more in store for you. I want to join my faith with yours as you're sowing your seed. I want you to name your seed. I believe that God is going to meet your need. He's going to open up windows of heaven, pour out blessings that you don't have room enough to receive. As you're sowing, your seed can help us to broaden this broadcast. Your seed can help us to take this message into cities and communities, nations and neighborhoods. Your, your seed can help us to get the requisite resources and the software and the particular hardware for what it is so that we have all of the equipment that we need to make this show and our show even better. Help us to grow our channel for change, our channel that creates change. And our channel that breaks chains. Thank you for your super chat and your super sticker. Thank you for your electronic gifts that you have sown. Dollar sign access identity on Cash App, PayPal, Zelle, Eddie Connor, JR at Gmail. If you're not a member of our <clears throat> Eagles community, come on, family. I would that you would join us. I want you to experience that transformation. I want you to come into our amazing live sessions and feel as if you can soar above anything. Yeah, because that's how you're going to feel. I want you to get the clarity. I want you to experience breakthrough in your businesses. That's the testimonies. That's what people are saying. That's what our amazing community members are saying. The greater growth that they're experiencing, their spiritual development, their emotional intelligence. I want you to experience that same growth. Go right now to theeaglesacademy.com to soar with us into greater success and greater purpose. TheEaglesAcademy.com, TheEaglesAcademy.com. When you get there, tap the join out button. Fill out the form. I guarantee you will be transformed even now. I want you to become a member of In The Mix. Come on, we take it even further and farther. Yes, in our Eagles community, but also as you become a member of our In The Mix community. Mm-hmm. Don't tell me you're just watching The Mix, but you're not a member of In The Mix. You're going to make me pop another balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Become a member of In The Mix on any one of those tiers. You can get a badge and that badge really helps us to help helps to support this program and this broadcast. Link is in the chat. Link is in the description. VIP royalty OKP on any of those tiers and those levels. And my give and my gift to you is now giving you access into our members only area. We're going to get a lot of up close and personal connectivity with me behind the scenes. It's going to be a great experience for you. So go ahead. Become a member of In The Mix. Partner with me. Yes, on that level, as well as TheEaglesAcademy.com. Family, was this show 
empowering? Was it impactful? Did it make you laugh a little bit? I sure hope so. You know, I'm here to lift your spirits and to take you to another dimension, spiritually, emotionally, intellectually, relationally, down those alleys of life. Family in the mix. Ooh, we out of time. But family, y'all know I'm not out of truth. And so I want to thank you for rocking with me. I want to thank you for riding with me. I really do want to thank you for rolling with me. Why? Because that's just how we roll. And we roll together each and every single weekday, Monday through Friday for In The Mix. Right here on the YouTube side, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Come on, hit the thumbs up button on this video, family. Come on now, don't hold out on me. Hit the thumbs up on this video. It's been an explosion of inspiration. While you're doing that, hit the subscribe button as well. Not only are you a subscriber, but you are a partner with us. Yes, we mix it right up here, right over here on the YouTube side, but also on our sister satellite stations on social media. Sincere salute to you watching us on social media. But I just got a question for you. Are you my friend? Are we locked in? Then step this way, step that way. Yeah, step this way, step that way. What way am I talking about? By following me, by friending me on social media. Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok. We don't stop at Eddie Connor Jr. Come on, family. Put some respect on my name. E-D-D-I-E-C-O-N-N-O-R-J-R. Come on, family. Do yourself a favor. I'm so grateful to be the pastor of the Remnant Worshippers Church in Detroit. And I would that you would join us at any of our services every Sunday at 10 a.m. And then, of course, on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. for Bible study. You say, well, where is you located? I'm so glad that you asked. 20470 Hubble Street in the city of Detroit. 20470 Hubble Street. I'm saving you a seat. I want to see your face in the place as you worship with us at our church, the Remnant Worshippers. And I'm guarantee you, listen, I'm putting a little glue on my hands. I'm putting sanitizer on my hands too, but I'm putting a little glue on my hands. Yeah, because I, I want you to stick and stay with us at our amazing, amazing church with so many amazing people. Family, keep showing love. I'm going to keep showing up. If I can help you, if I can serve you in any way, please reach out to me. Go ahead, get any of my books Available on Amazon as well as the EaglesAcademy.com forward slash books. If you're looking for a dynamic speaker, now why would you look any further? Come on, you know I'm the man for the job. So invite me to speak at your church, your conference, your community center, your school, your graduation, your session. Whatever's clever. Let's make some progression. All you have to do is email me to invite me. Info at EddieConnor.com. And boy, I'm telling you, it would be an honor for me to empower you. Sure, truly, Dr. Eddie, your main man, 100 grand, your brother. And I mean that from another mother. Family, it's been fun, but you know, brother, got to run. So I want you to know it's been a privilege and a pleasure, a treat and a treasure, a joy. Yes, it has been beyond measure. But I want you, yes, you, I'm talking to you now, to remember to keep the faith and believe it's going to be bigger, better, brighter, peace, and a whole lot of love. Keep soaring higher family there is power in partnership and we are better together which is why i am on a mandated mission to activate 30 yes 30 new action takers who are ready to soar beyond their limits i'm ready to develop and deploy you into your gifts and your greatness now are you ready well get activated by joining the Eagles Academy, where we cultivate your gifts and your talents to become the greatest version of yourself. And we do this through weekly mastermind sessions where you receive strategies for exponential growth with self-paced Eagles Nest reflections that include personalized feedback to transform you, to renew your mindset, to empower you to take action and actualize your purpose. Are you an action taker? If so, today I ask you, are you ready to answer the call? Well, great. Then visit TheEaglesAcademy.com and become a member. For only $24.99, you will unlock unlimited knowledge and resources that will launch you and catapult you into the greatest version of yourself. I invite you to the winner's circle. On your mark, get set, go right now to TheEaglesAcademy.com and seize this moment.